Long ago, people used to use the cochlear broom to ward off spirit, evil spirit. They used to lean it up in the corner at the house. And also, they used to use it to shishere, shishere babies, shishere, um, shishere and, and to use the jarry babies and things. This broom was made because that is what, you know, the traditional, you know, we, we use this broom to clean and, you know, sweep around the, the place here. Well, some of the people use it to sweep their yard. The one that are sweeping the yard, that doesn't sweep inside the house with it. They have one for inside the house, and they have one for outside in the yard. Right? People use it to cobweb. I, mean, I also make them to cobweb. We make it with the coconut branch. Yeah, we make the, co well, the coconut branch, then we get it, we cut it, and then we take off the green leaf from it, and then we end up with the, the hard metal piece. Well, some people use yeah, the palm leaf and, or the carrot leaf. The carrot, they take it and they tie it together. But the, the more traditional is the coconut. I only use the cochlear broom from the coconut tree to do the business. No other, no other um, palm tree. For me, the best broom is the one where fall, the branches where fall. That, them, the, the, the branches where fall, the, the, the coconut flex, the, um, the, the flexes be more stronger and more hard and everything. And it doesn't wear down any concrete when you're sweeping concrete with it. You don't have to bend down to sweep with the broom, right? You're standing up and you're sweeping because most of my customers, right, telling me that they, they, they don't like to bend down. Some of them have back problems, you know? So they use the broom with the handle where they feel more right. comfortable. Well, the significance of the broom is, is a spiritual thing. The, Spiritual Baptist people use it. The, the Hindu people use it. It's our everyday life in, in Trinidad. People love it. They love it. Happy 60th Independence, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, I.